Throughout the day, a buck will rub very sized trees. They are leaving the scent in an attempt to show dominance to other bucks in the breeding party. This behavior is also a way for a subordinate buck to vent his frustration of not being able to breed the doe. While the ester stove feeds nearby, the dominant buck moves to an active scrape along the field's edge and begins to freshen the scrape. Throughout the process, he is aware of the presence of other bucks who would like to take his place. Before he can finish working the scrape, the big buck is interrupted by a subordinate buck who gets too close to the ester stove. Having none of this, the big buck turns and walks toward the intruder. Sleeping comes hard when a doe comes into estrus. With other bucks competing for a doe's breeding rights, a buck must be on red alert for any intruders. During this time, subordinate bucks work overtime in order to steal an estrus doe from the dominant buck. To escape the rash of slashing antlers and the dominant buck's aggressive behavior, an estrus doe will bet in the thickest cover possible for protection. When a doe enters estrus, she urinates more frequently. This attracts every buck in the breeding party. The dominant buck is usually the first to test the urine by lip curling. Then, one by one, the subordinate bucks wait for their turn to perform their own lip curling test. Throughout the day, the big drop time buck must ward off every buck who tries to move in on the estrus doe. The non-stop action is spectacular as one buck after another tests the massive buck. There is no rest for the big buck. Just when he thought he was going to get a little rest, another buck moves in to try to claim the doe. With the stress of the moment too great, the doe jumps from her bed and runs. The chase is on as the dominant buck follows to ensure that another buck does not take his place. With the breeding party at fever pitch, a big subordinate buck vents his frustration by emitting a long drawn out snort wheeze. Clearly he is ready to rumble. The breeding party action heats up as more bucks join the action. With the dominant drop time buck bedded near the doe, subordinate bucks circle the thick cover. The subordinate bucks close in on the dominant buck and doe. The doe leaps to her feet and runs for thick cover with all the bucks in tow. The cover is too thick for the big buck to penetrate. His massive antlers become entangled and he frantically tries to free himself so he can catch up with the doe. For the better part of a minute, he struggles in a tangle of brush before breaking loose and resuming the chase. The dominant buck attempts to maintain control of the breeding rights from the other bucks as he follows the doe through thick brush. Within minutes, the scene calms and the doe beds in the confines of thick cover. With the doe bedded, subordinate bucks circle throughout the cover, trying to find an opening in hopes of stealing the big buck's breeding rights. One of the subordinate bucks locates a place where the estrus doe has urinated. Within a span of a few minutes, he lip curls three times. Chaos has come to the deer woods, and the action is spectacular. As the action heats up, an eight-pointer with a dominant attitude arrives on the scene. Could the stage be set for a brawl to take place? Tensions run high now that the doe is ready to breed. With the doe bedded close by, each buck meanders back and forth planning a strategy. Clearly, something spectacular is about to take place. With the breeding drama at its peak, a dominant buck jumps the bedded doe and a chase begins. It's this kind of behavior that makes the white tail rut so exciting. The breeding party moves into the open when an estrus doe works her way to a food plot. The dominant drop pine buck moves aggressively to force other bucks away from the doe. After the lesser bucks have left, the dominant buck takes out his frustration on a clump of brassica plants. With the dominant buck temporarily distracted by another buck, a mature eight-pointer moves in on the estrus doe. She urinates and after the eight-pointer checks out the location, he lip curls. He begins to follow the doe and the chase is on. Within seconds, a frantic chase unfolds as the eight-pointer tries to catch the doe before the big dominant buck returns. The dominant buck catches up to the breeding party and chases off the eight-pointer with a series of loud vocalizations. Before the woods can calm, the big buck finds the doe in thick brush and breeds her. In the minutes that follow, the big buck tries to recover from the stress of the last hour. He's exhausted, and for the next 30 minutes, his chest heaves as he attempts to bounce back from the rigors of the rut. In a fine-tuned deer herd, the rut amounts to 40 days of non-stop madness. Consequently, what whitetail bucks put themselves through during this time is incredible. In rare cases, a buck can pay with his life if he is injured in a fight. At the very least, a buck can be expected to lose up to 30% of his pre-rut body weight from chasing does, rubbing, scraping, and fighting. The rut can be a very stressful time for whitetail bucks. In spite of this, the rut and its associated behaviors 
are what makes the whitetail such an incredible creature and one of the greatest game animals on earth.